Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are five tips to help us when we're working with brushes. First, let's learn how to quickly change the brush size. My favorite is using the heads-up display. It's an odd shortcut, but on the Mac it's Control Option, and then drag either left or right to change the diameter, drag up and down in order to change the hardness of the brush. On Windows, it's going to be a Control Alt right click and then drag. All right, secondly, let's learn how to change the opacity of our painting tools. I can tap a numeric key to add the percentage of that tap number. So one gives me 10%, two is 20, and so on until we tap zero, which will give me 100%. Tapping two numbers quickly will give us that exact amount, so 45%. To change the value of the flow instead of opacity, and the flow is the speed at which the paint is laid down, add the shift key and then type a number. Shift 5 changes it to 50%. There is one exception here, and that is if your painting tool has the airbrush attribute turned on, then tapping a numeric key will change the flow amount, and you have to add the shift key in order to change the opacity. So I'll toggle that off for now. All right, the third tip is how to change the blend mode. We can always select a blend mode from the list, but it might be easier to just hold down the shift key and tap the plus key to move down through the list or the minus key to move back up through the list. Okay, let me quickly reset all of these values by right clicking on the tool and selecting reset. And then what about sampling colors while you're painting? Well, that's as easy as holding down the option key and clicking in the image area in order to pick up a different color. And finally, let's talk about painting straight lines, whether they're horizontal or vertical. If you click to start the paint stroke, hold down the shift key, and then drag, Photoshop will constrain that to the vertical or horizontal line. Now, I'm going to release both the shift key and my mouse. Then I'll hold down the shift key again and just click to show you that Photoshop can also kind of do this connect the dots technique. So I'm continuously holding down the shift key and wherever I click, Photoshop will draw a straight line between the last paint stroke and the new one. That's it for now. Talk to you soon.